Hey y'all, welcome back to Fifi's Place. Happy holidays to everyone. Hope you guys had a great Christmas and um, pray that you have a blessed new year. I had a few products that I used over the past like um, six months that I just wanted to give a quick uh, review on. And then just show a few uh, blowout uh, picks that I took the first week in December, which was my first year nap anniversary. And so I want to share those with y'all. So enjoy. Okay, guys, back in the summer, I did order and try O Valerie Moncherie's, um potion. Um, I must say that, um, oh, and by the way, all these products that I'm reviewing, I purchased them all. Um, just giving, um, what happened to my hair. Um, not saying that any of the particular things will work for your, your hair or not one way or the other. But, um, anyway, um, now that we're done with that, um, <laughs> probably mostly on me on this one. I think the challenge on this one was to try it for like, five weeks or something like that and I got it right before I went on vacation over the summer and <clears throat> I think got a chance to try it for maybe like two weeks straight two or two two or two and a half weeks straight and then it was time to go on vacation of course I wasn't wearing um doing this every night and wearing the bag on my head and all that while I was on vacation so once I went on vacation I kind of fell off the wagon but um, I did use it for that amount of time. I did notice that it made my hair, to me, it made my hair, um, kind of like stiff and hard, like, like a protein would or something. And, um, so I found myself having to use like a lot of, um, extra virgin olive oil when I got ready to wash my hair and that sort of thing. So I really hadn't gone back to it. Um, but I still have it. And of course, I know all the things in it are good. Um, and I probably will use it up, but um, may not reorder. Okay, you guys got me here on YouTube. You guys talked about the Denman brush so much that I went ahead on and, and ordered me one. So, yeah, I have a Denman brush. And, I mean, I use it to... Um, I always use my, I try to use my fingers first to detangle through my hair. Then I use my wide tooth comb for a little bit more. And then maybe my dimming brush just for a little bit more detangling. About the, um, Aubrey Honeysuckle Rose, um, Eh, you know, it doesn't it doesn't smell great, and I didn't think it worked that great either. But you know, that's just on my hair, just how it worked for me. My staple um, shampoo and conditioner, uh, even though I continue to try different conditioners um, just to see, you know, what's out there, but. Um, I, I do shampoo every week. Uh, it doesn't take but a drop for my hair, needless to say, um, to, for it to be enough shampoo to get my scalp clean. So I do use the Giovanni, um, smooth as silk, uh, deeper moisture, um, or deep moisture shampoo. And then I use the, the conditioner as well. And I've used those since uh, the beginning and I still use both of these. And I found these great big um, bottles because I was buying them at um, like Target first for like seven or eight dollars in the smaller bottles. I think like eight ounces or so. Then I found these big, huge, humongous ones at um, TJ Maxx for like twelve dollars. So that's a bargain. I saw a review, I think, on the um, Yes to Carrots, and I was going to go to um, HEB to buy it. And when I got there, I noticed they had a color care conditioner. And since I use henna, you know, I'm considering that as color. And so they had this Yes to Cucumbers um, that I tried. It smells so good. And it um, works really good as a, a detangler in my hair as well. So 
I really like this and I think I've bought it a second time already, I think. But um yeah, I'd buy this again and I still probably want to try the Yista carrots as well. But I do like this for sure. And uh I don't remember how much this was. Um I'll have to check on that. Okay, Karen's Body Beautiful. I did get a couple of things from that line. The Luscious Locks uh, Hair Mask. Um, I like it. Um, would I reorder? Mm, probably not. I mean, it's fine. Uh, I just probably wouldn't reorder. Same thing with the hair growth serum. Uh, I actually like the way that it uh, made my scalp feel kind of, you know, um, like it maybe had peppermint or something in it. But um, and it wasn't that uh, expensive or anything. But um, but I have something else that I'm using, so I probably wouldn't reorder. Now this this. I would I would get again the Karen's Body Beautiful um, naturally chic. This is the um, Sweet Ambrosia. It's like a it's a hair moisturizer, and like if you don't want to put um, wet your hair all the time, uh, this is just like a great moisturizer for your hair. But I mean, I still wet my hair with water and then still use this. I just it just makes my hair feel so. Did I say moisturize? <laughs> it makes it feel really moisturized. Uh, so I would definitely get this again. Okay, this one, guys, I have a funny story about. I ordered this from uh, Oyen Handmade, the conditioner and these, um, like, refreshers or moisturizers or whatever. The conditioner was, you know, hmm. It was okay. I mean, I haven't used, I just used it once. Uh, I'll use it up, but, um, and I may just need to use it more to give it a fair shake on that. But anyway, guys, I used the, um, juices and berries, <laughs> as Miss V. Charles, um, uh, uh, calls it. Yeah. But anyway, guys, I had a B after me after I used this product in my hair. We had gone out, my, um, Boys were going to the barbershop and we went to go pick them up. And this bee would not leave me alone. I mean, I ran around the car. He followed me around the car. Well, you know, of course, I tried to stay still. That did not work because he was just getting closer and closer to me. But my husband was like, because he had already told me that the juices and berries smell good in my hair. But this bee was just like after me. So I'm, I'm a little leery. I may have to use this in the winter time and not the summer, spring or summer because I don't want any bees after me. But, um, yeah. And I may have to, um, dilute it a little bit because it, it seemed, it did seem a little sticky or something. And I think it did say that you could dilute it and all that. So. I'll try these again, but I better do it soon before spring and summer get here. Okay, all you need from, it's a growth formula from a YouTuber, The Heroine. This is the oil that I'm liking in my hair um, right now. After I shampoo and condition and all that, this is what I spray up in my crown area and around my edges. Uh, that, um, I, I just, I don't know, I like the way it feels, you know, I like the way it smells. And um, so I've been using it now for maybe about, about a month and uh, I'll be continuing to use this so um, so yeah I really like this and guys this is uh, uh, as it says cocoa mango shaped body butter that I got from her that I just I just this necessarily doesn't have anything to do with hair necessarily, but I, I do sometimes, you know, put it in my hands and put it all over my face and everything, and put the rest on, you know, the top of my hair and whatever. And this just really feels good and smells good too. I got a heat cap. This is not the one that I thought I was ordering. 
But anyway, this is the one that I got, and I, I've used it once so far, so I will be using this to do my um, hot oil treatments. And then I actually did not own a blow dryer. I think the one that I had um, blew out a long time ago. But anyway, so I did go out and get me a uh, hair blow dryer from uh, TJ Maxx. Uh, this was um, $20 basically. And um, it's got all the, you know, things that I was looking for. The, what is it, turn, turnaline and the ceramic and, you know, all that good stuff. And then, bum ba da da my first year in Apple first three, yay! <laughs> Guys, I know this is kind of a blowout and a very light, very light, light, light iron. I mean, probably like 200 or 220 flat iron type of thing, just to see what was going on up there. And, you know, I had a lot of issues, and I know I have a long way to go, but... Guys, honestly, I was pretty happy with this, and I used a lot of grapeseed oil in this for fear of heat damage. I'm not really sure why. I guess just because I'd heard so much about heat damage and all of that. So this is nowhere near what I would consider a flat iron. I'm sure you wouldn't either, but uh, it was a light, light, very cool flat iron and blow dry through my hair just to see why I was for my one year um, anniversary of being natural. Okay, thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed. See you next year. Okay, guys, I had to come back real quick because I know my sister is probably going to be the first one to catch that I said, see you later. <laughs> anyway, what's that? That's like next time and later and next year, you know, whatever. It's all of it together. All right, guys, you guys have a good evening. Bye.